Meltham Branch Railway Line was a line that linked the town of Meltham and the village of South Crossland and Netherton to the rail network to Uddersfield. Constructions began in 1864, but it wasn't until 1869 when it was first opened for use as a form of public transportation as well as industrial cargo shipments. It was constructed by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Company and it had many complications in its construction, most of which were landslides when building the earthworks around Dungeon Wood, resulting in a five year construction period rather than the proposed two. The line then entered the 256 yard Butternap Tunnel. The south entrance to the tunnel now stands on private land and the mouth of the tunnel has been converted into a studio for the house. Line then crossed over Meltham Road. There were also cave-ins at the Netherton Tunnel and these probably resulted in the change of the shape of the tunnel going from an N-shaped tunnel on the north entrance to a more horseshoe shaped tunnel on the south where the train station was built. There are three tunnels on this branch Butternap, Netherton, Ely House. Netherton Tunnel is next on the line at 333 yards long. Tunnel explorers state that apart from some water ingress at the southwest end, it's dry throughout. Straight out of Netherton Tunnel, Netherton Station was the next stop on the line. I have managed to find few, a few photos online of the old station and how it looks today. Although the line has not been built over except for Meltham Station on which now stands a supermarket and a modern housing estate it is overgrown and this is demonstrated by Ely House Station which is now completely, completely woodland. The line then plunged into the final short 30 yard tunnel which is still accessible but little else remains of the once picturesque station. There was once a station at Meltham Mills to serve employees of David Brown Tractors and amongst other Meltham Mills. The halt was known locally as Spink Station and a short platform with a wooden footbridge. There was a barn-like building creating a wooden shelter with a long arched roof that was later sadly destroyed by fire in the early 20th century. However, I cannot find any pictures of the Mel Melton Mills Alt. Its opening day was recorded to have been seen packed carriages with cheering crowds, waving flags. The thick crowd's appearance might have been down to the offer of free tickets for the day. It remained a popular means of transport to and from Meltham up until the late 1930s with the increase of more affordable bus travel. line serving Home Firth and taking passages to Uddersfield opened in 1850. This line left the Uddersfield to Penistone line at Brockholes and went through Thongsbridge terminating in the town of Home Firth. Sadly the last timetable passenger train on this short branch ran on October 31st 1959 and the line was finally dismantled in 1966. The key engineering challenge in the short branch to Own Firth was bridging the new mill Dyke Valley by means of the Mytholomroyd Viaduct, just three quarters of a mile from the junction. The plan was to build a stone via viaduct was shelved in favour of a timber structure for economic reasons. When this wooden structure was nearly finished in February 1849, a great gale sprang up and three quarters of the viaduct fell down. 
fortunately without loss of life. Undaunted by public concern about the safety of the wooden structure, work began again on this viaduct and the viaduct was completed. Just beyond the viaduct was Thongsbridge Station, some five and a quarter miles from Huddersfield. This was only an intermediate station on the line and provide, it was provided from its opening in 1850. When the railway arrived, development in Thongsbridge consisted of a couple of woollen mills and a few cottages near the mills to the south of the station. On the opening of the line in 1850, it was a day of great rejoicing in the own valley with church bells tolling from early morning, heralded the significance of the day. The Home Firth Band assembled on the platform and played enthusiastically. July 1st was declared a public holiday in the Home Valley, and during the first week, 1,869 tickets were sold at Home Firth, and the population was around 2,500 at the time. By 1879, there were nine trains a day, along the branch and 10 on Tuesdays and Saturdays but only 3 on Sundays. The journey to Odersfield from Home Firth normally took 23 minutes and a return trip of 25 minutes. The track bed between Thongsbridge and Home Firth still remains through there has been some development towards the Home Firth end. After 1945, road transport began to take its toll on the profitability of the branch. Coal traffic had always been a significant on the branch, and deliveries of coal at local merchants and mills within the steam-driven boilers continued in the 1940s and 1950s. Steam trains operated the passenger service right up to its closure to passenger traffic on October 31st, 1959. After that the line became freight only with a 20 mile per hour speed limit. The line was finally dismantled in 1966.